Hello friends, my name is Pankaj Kumar Singh and I am going to present a lecture on modulation, a topic from the Electronic and Communication Engineering BTEC course. Before starting modulation, I want to tell why we need modulation. When we send courier or post, do we send object as it is? No, we do packaging. We put the object in a box and perform packaging that facilitate easy transportation of object. Modulation is the same thing. In modulation, we perform packaging of the information signal for its easy transportation. Now, Let's have a look on the definition of modulation. Modulation is the process of changing some characteristic of the carrier signal in accordance with the modulating signal or information signal. Here the modulating signal also known as baseband signal is information carrying signal where information is stored and which we want to transmit and to transmit we do its packaging with carrier signal, a high frequency signal and easy to transport. Carrier signal and modulating signal go through the modulation process to generate the modulated signal. And we use this final modulated signal to transmit the information. Now let's have a look on the type of carrier. There are two types of the carrier wave which we use in the modulation process. First, first one is the continuous carrier wave. The signal is of continuous nature with respect to time and the second carrier wave is pulse carrier wave where signal is in the pulse form on time domain axis you can see in the figure the first figure is for continuous wave and the second figure is for pulse wave we learn modulation and carrier type now it is time for types of modulation modulation is basically of two type continuous wave modulation and pulse wave modulation this is based on what kind of carrier signal we are using now each type is further subdivided into three different types based on what for based on what characteristic we are changing of the modulating signal in continuous wave modulation three types are amplitude modulation frequency modulation and phase modulation in pulse modulation three types are pulse amplitude modulation pulse width modulation and pulse code mod modulation in this lecture, we will cover amplitude modulation. Now the question is, what is the amplitude modulation? Amplitude modulation is the process in which the amplitude of the carrier wave varies in accordance to the amplitude of the modulating signal. Here is the mathematical formula for the carrier wave. Ct is equal to A cos omega t where A is the amplitude of the carrier wave. Omega is the frequency of the carrier wave and t is the time and 
multiplication and multiplication of frequency and time is the phase phase of the carrier wave as i said earlier in amplitude modulation the amplitude of the carrier wave varies in accordance to the amplitude of the modulating signal this is done by adding the modulating signal to the amplitude component of carrier wave so modulated signal as shown in formula st equal to a plus xt multiplied by cos omega t as we are changing the amplitude only so the frequency and the phase of the carrier remains constant and the maximum amplitude of the modulated signal varies according to the instantaneous value of the information signal here is the graphical representation of amplitude modulation you will understand it better with the image the topmost image is of the message signal with maximum amplitude am the second image is of the carrier signal with maximum amplitude ac the bottommost figure is the modulated signal with maximum amplitude am plus ac in modulated signal when we draw the envelope as shown in the figure we find the upper envelope is same as the message signal and the lower envelope is inverted one of the message signal so the information which we are trying to transmit lies in the envelope of modulated signal Till now, we have seen the time domain only. Now let's have a look on the frequency domain representation. This is done with the help of Fourier transformation. It gives a picture about which frequency correspond, which frequency component are present in the signal, and their corresponding amplitude. In this figure. the left hand side represent the time domain and the right hand side represent the frequency domain the topmost figure is of the message signal it has frequency component of minus omega m to plus omega m with varying amplitude the second figure is of the carrier signal as carrier signal has only one frequency omega c in frequency domain this is represented by a spike at minus omega c and plus omega c the bottom most figure is the modulated signal that we want that we are that we will transmit the frequency domain of the modulated signal is the frequency component of message signal placed at the carrier frequency minus omega c and plus omega c we completed basic of the amplitude modulation and its frequency representation now let's have a look on the parameters that affect the quality of the amplitude modulation signal one is modulation index and the other one is transmission efficiency
modulation index is defined as the ratio of the maximum amplitude of the modulating signal with respect to the maximum amplitude of the carrier signal. The mathematical formula is given as mu is equal to AM divided by AC where AM is the amplitude of the message signal and AC is the amplitude of the carrier signal. And based on the value of mu, we defined overmodulation and undermodulation. In overmodulation, in overmodulation, the value of AM is greater than value of AC. Basically, amplitude of message signal when amplitude of message signal becomes greater than amplitude of carrier signal in that case over modulation happen and in over modulation case the envelope get distorted and in retrieval process of the basement signal we get corrupt signal not the actual message signal Here is the figure for overmodulation and undermodulation. In undermodulation, the envelope of the modulated signal is same as the message signal. But in overmodulation case, the mass the envelope of the modulated signal is different from the actual message. So, so when we try to try to re retrieve information from the envelope of overmodulated signal, we will get wrong wrong message. That's why overmodulation is avoided in amplitude modulation. Next parameter is transmission efficiency. We want to transmit message signal, but to do so, we need carrier signal also. The transmission efficiency, so the transmission efficiency is defined as the ratio of the power of message signal to the total power. The mathematical formula efficiency is given here what was the power in message signal and what was the total power that is the sum of message signal power plus carrier signal power the maximum transmission efficiency of AM wave is 33% only this implies in the best case scenario only one third of the total power contains target information and rest two third of the power is just to make it transmittable so that that is all for today thank you